this video, I'll be showing you how to use FM, also known as frequency modulation, on the Voyager. I'll be going over how to make different bell tones, as well as how to make an aggressive distorted tone. Now this following clip is an excerpt from the Mini Moog Voyager lesson pack for Centorial, which is 34 videos totaling 2 hours and 22 minutes that go over every inch of the Voyager, and it's free for all registered Centorial users. Now for those who don't know, Centorial is video game-like training software that teaches you how to program synth patches by ear. It does this by combining video demonstrations with interactive challenges in which you program patches on a built-in soft synth. And the Mini Moog Voyager lesson pack adds 34 videos that show you how to take the things you've learned in Centorial and do it on the Voyager. I've made a special demo available for you guys to download. It includes 18 lessons and five Voyager videos by clicking the link that's appearing on your screen now. Now, before we get started, you want to initialize your synth. This will make programming a lot easier. And I recommend going to the web page below and following these instructions right here in this box. Now, not only will it show you how to use the Voyager's built-in initialization function, but more importantly, it adds steps that will show you how to change the face of the synth so it matches what you hear. Because if you just use the initialization function, the inside of the synth turns into a very simple sound, but the face of it doesn't change, obviously, which can be kind of confusing, particularly for those of you who are a little newer to the Voyager or just newer to programming. So I recommend following these steps before you get started. Here we go. Voyager FM. The FM is a little trickier to program on the Voyager compared to Centorio. The routing is fairly simple. Oscillator 3 is our modulator. Oscillator 1 is our carrier. So we want to hear the carrier. We don't want to hear the modulator, so only oscillator one will be on. And then you simply just turn the FM switch on. Now, with Centauro, we were doing sine waves. There are no sine waves in the waveform selection. We'll do the next best thing. We'll turn them both to triangles. Now you're not getting much yet, so we need to turn this frequency up. And I like, my favorite spot is around the sixth notch. start to hear some of that FM. You can get it in the other values, but it changes the overall pitch. This keeps C sounding like C. Whatever note you're playing sounds like the note you're playing. Now I'm going to increase our amp release a little bit just to give us a little bit more of a bell-like quality. Good. Now, Oscillator 3's waveform knob in this situation is kind of like Centorial's FM knob. As you turn it up, you get a little bit brighter. Go towards saw. You can go all the way up to about this notch here. Compared to a little rounder, a little brighter. So it's kind of like Centurial's FM knob. Go past that, it starts to get dissonant. Now, if I want to change the overall range of my bells, I can turn both octaves up. And then we can take oscillator 3's octave and move it down. It gets a little dissonant, but it's a little bit more FM-ish, a little bit more metallic. Can even go down one further and it gets pretty aggressive. We'll go back to 4. Now one thing you might notice is as I jump from note to note, sometimes it takes a second for the pitch to kind of catch up. Can you hear this like, yeah. So it's like the very beginning of your note sounds sort of out of tune until it kind of comes together. Now in some ways this can be kind of cool, but if you don't want it, what you can do is sort of you can mask it with a little bit of glide. So I'm turning the glide on. And now, now if I'm intentionally bending between the notes, then you won't really notice that accidental FM bend between the notes. So that's how you can get your nice sort of bell-like metallic tone with FM. There's another great use we can get from FM in the Voyager, and that's this really nice aggressive distorted tone. To do this, I'm going to change oscillator 1 to square, oscillator 3 to about there, a little bit above the saw, right at the saw graphic, actually. We're going to bring our 
oscillator one back down to its regular octave, our default octave. And we're going to bring oscillator three one octave below that. And then set its frequency back to zero. And here's what it sounds like. Oh, let's turn glide off. It's a really nice, aggressive, distorted sound. And you can adjust the wave. But I like it right around the saw. And you could bring oscillator 3's octave one lower to get even nastier. And then we can bring the frequency back up if you want to add a little bit more of that metallic, bellish-like quality to it. Really nice distorted tone. Lastly, it's really easy to come across a dissonant tone with FM. Set it to any random frequency, random waveforms, and you'll come across as sometimes bizarre sound effects and dissonant sounds. So it's a great way to create sort of experimental sound effects and things like that. So your task is to create three new patches. One, a smooth bell tone, like we did with the triangles. Another, that nice heavy distorted tone. And then lastly, something just bizarre from a random setting of your choice. All right, well, thanks for watching. And just so you know, we got a lot of other free videos like this available on Centorial's website. All you gotta do is sign up for our newsletter by clicking the link that's popping up on your screen now, and we'll send you a link to a page full of videos and articles. Thanks for watching.